Okay, this topic that we're looking at is the byproducts of timber or the forest industry. Most people look at trees and they go, okay, wood comes from trees. So we start with the trees in the forest. And the main product that comes from that, as anybody would think, is timber, or in some countries they'll call it lumber. That can be used for woodworking and general construction, building, all that sort of thing. So that's the solid timber that can get milled out of the tree. When they're milling a tree, there's a lot of waste from that, just from the saws. So you're going to get lots and lots of sawdust. Sawdust can account for almost 20% of a tree when they're basically are milling it up. Sawdust, lots of people will think of as waste, but the industry is trying to minimise the waste. So sawdust can be turned into things such as fuel, can be used for insulation, packaging, if they reprocess the sawdust, and it can also be used in explosives. And that's one of the reasons why I say we can't have heaters, especially gas heaters, in a workshop, because, or even electric heaters that have a spark, because the amount of dust that gets generated in a room, it can be a dangerous environment, because it can be explosive. It could be used as stuffing, maybe in furniture or things like that. Sometimes I can even use the sawdust in abrasives. It's because of the sawdust, the fact that it can have a binding um, nature to it. It's like a, like a filler and that sort of thing. And obviously when it gets wet, it swells and can puff up. They will can use it in clay products and even cast concrete. So that's all, the, that's all byproducts. So things that weren't intentionally meant in the, at, at first because they they were trying to cut up the tree for timber or lumber and the sawdust was one of the byproducts of that and this is what they can use that sawdust for rather than sweeping it up and throwing it out. Not all of the tree can be used for timber because the sizes are too small. Smaller branches, leaves and even some of the, the sawdust when it comes out in some chips. So they can basically chip up that and turn it into um, building boards. Now we use some of those building boards. That's things such as um, particle board, MDF, medium density fiber board, hard board, soft board. When, when they do all these processes, it's basically where they, they chip up the product and they um, put them into big compressed sheets. So I won't go into too much detail because that is a whole other subject on manufactured boards. But that is a byproduct of the timber and forest industry. The next byproduct of the timber industry, some would say it's an actual product of the industry, but it comes from the byproducts because they don't just chew up a whole tree for it. But it is the paper pulp industry. When they use timber or the byproducts of timber to create paper, what they do is they basically grind up the, the wood fibers and the um, all the chips and that sort of stuff. They soak them with water grind them all up to try and get the fibres to bind together. That's one of the reasons they use the water because it makes the, the fibres swell and they'll try and stick together. They might then bleach the product to get the white paper that we want. You can get unbleached paper, but generally they, they will use bleach. I think there are other products that they use now to try and get white paper so that the bleach isn't used because bleach is not really good for the environment. But after they bleach it, they'll then basically compress it and get the fibres to all bind together and then they'll push them through rollers. And that's basically how they get the fine paper. So it'll press it out through the uh, thing and then it'll get set off to dry somewhere. It then obviously goes off for further refining into various different paper products. In addition to all of these, which a lot of people would think, yes, that's what comes from a tree. There's also a lot of chemicals that come from a tree. So I'm gonna write that over here. And that comes from a different, different process known as dis distillation. So I think, haven't got a lot of detail, but when they do distill the products from the tree, they basically boil it up or steam it and it, base, and it gets the other chemicals out of it. Some of the chemicals that come out of the tree are creosote, which is something they actually used to paint on the bottom of um, telegraph poles to protect them in the ground. Methanol, which is a, a type of alcohol, so that, and it's used in fuels. Acetone, which is a strong chemical, which is... Um, used in industry for cleaning. Gray acetate is similar to acetone, but not exactly sure. They can also get tar from this process. After all of that distillation process, they can be left, up, left off with charcoal. 
charcoal can be used for fires or artist charcoal or um, that sort of stuff. Some charcoal they'll basically grind up for use in other products as well. Sometimes cleaning products, sometimes filters, that sort of thing. They can also get a wood alcohol, which then gets turned into rubber products. Also, explosives. That's the wood alcohol that can be used for that. They can also get tannins, sometimes from the tree, quite often from the leaves. Tannins are often used in the leather industry to help with the curing process for leather. They can also get resins, and that's going to be a wide variety because of all the different trees. And they can also get turpentine. That can be tapped from a live tree or produced from the tree through the distillation process and that sort of stuff. That's all the chemicals that can, you can get from a tree through different processes. One of the things that you see everywhere is plastics. Plastics are quite often made from crude oil and natural gas. But wood still remains a major source of cellulose, which is from within the tree. So, and the cellulose can be used to create a plant-based plastic. And sometimes you'll see that listed on a product there. You know, plastic made from plants rather than oil. So it comes from this whole industry as a byproduct to create a plastic that they do say is probably a little bit more environmentally friendly than the type that you'll get from oil. As you can see, the timber industry doesn't just make timber or lumber for doing woodwork and building houses out of. There's a lot more products that can come out of the industry than just wood. So there's a lot there. I'm just going to stand back for a bit, have a look at the notes. You tell me what you know now. So now it's your turn. You choose a method that you want to use. It could be a video, a PowerPoint, a poster, a report to tell me or present to me what you know about byproducts from the timber industry.